So the question becomes, what is a solid investment? And that's a pretty great question. And uh, it's one of the things that we try to answer yesterday in our video where it was titled, They Hide It. And it was, uh, we're talking about the, um, the former president of the New York Stock Exchange where he just came out and said, hey, you know what? Cryptocurrency is the best kept secret out there. And uh, more people, once they learn about it, are probably gonna you know, get right into it, which was pretty interesting to, to, to me because I thought to myself, well, you know, why are they trying to, you know, they, they know it's a, they, they say it's a secret. And I think that people like that or people who are in higher positions or people with a lot of uh, wealth and influence, I think they're trying to like, you know, kind of keep it on the down low so they can get everybody in as fast as possible, even their, their whale clients so they can get everybody in. And then they can front run everything. And then people, all the retail investors can come in uh, later, people like you and me. So uh, we talked about how Sometimes these investments, um, you know, you have to take a look at, at what is really going on behind the scenes. And that was just one of the parts. And I talked about good investments and we talk about, you know, the portfolio and my portfolio is like risk, riskier and riskiest. And uh, that's pretty much how it comes down to because crypto is pretty risky. And one of the tokens I talked about was Dogecoin. And I said it was trash. And I said it was trash because of the different aspects that uh, it holds. One of those is that uh, there's really no team around it. It's pretty much abandoned uh, as far as uh, that I know. I don't know there's like a huge team behind it right now. It's not like it's, you know, they're like like, like the Ethereum foundation is, is behind it or something crazy like that. Uh, there's been no more, you know, huge amounts of uh, partnerships announced. There's been new mainnet launch. There's, you know, it's not like it's being used a ton of different places for a ton of different things. To me, it doesn't. It's not. It's not a, a viable project, quite honestly. And it works. It works fine. I mean, you can spend things. You can tip things. Great. Whatever. Use it for charity. And I just thought it was going to end badly, honestly. And uh, there was this this uh, tweet that I saw. Uh, it came out yesterday. And uh, just so you know, when I when I show you this, this is from Reddit. So you know that everything on Reddit is 100% true. <laughs> but in all honesty. Uh, from what I saw from all the different promotions, things that were going on, people like, you know, really pumping up this this, this token. I was like, this is going to end pretty badly for a lot of people because they don't understand. They just hear about cryptocurrency. They're like, oh, this is awesome. It's going to be fantastic for, for everything. And it's going to go to the moon. They have no idea about tokenomics and uh, how things actually work and market cap. And this is a prime example. So it says, how do I tell my wife our life savings are gone? Uh, I threw in almost 90% of our joint savings account into Doge at 40 cents, expecting it to hit a dollar. So this guy probably, and this, I don't know if this is true or not, but it probably makes sense that someone did this out there. They said, hey, I'm not going to tell my wife. I'm just going to throw in some, some of our savings joint, jointly. And, uh, you know, by the time it hits a dollar, I'm going to surprise her. Hey, babe, look at this new house. I'm a genius. Love me. Uh, he goes, I didn't realize that it was at a $50 billion market cap when it was at 40 cents. I was just following the hype and what I was seeing on TikTok. I'm sick, sick to my stomach right now. So that's one, one end of the spectrum. That's, I think, is what the majority are going to go through for everybody who's just coming in. Because remember, if you bought it early and you sold it at the top, someone's holding your bags. And that's just how it is. Someone you dumped on. And that's that's the name of the game, honestly. So in, in in certain in certain respects, you're rewarded for you know getting in early, buying it, and then going, you know what? Like for me, for Bitcoin, right? I got in early. I mean, as early as I could possibly do it in 2017. And uh, when I sell it, let's say I bought it at 10,000, I sold it at 20,000. Well, then that person, you know, when they bought it at 20,000, now they're doing pretty good because it's at uh, 53,000. And that's just how it is. But at some point, they bought my bags that i bought beforehand and it really just depends on you know uh, what their goals are so i can't really say too much so there's this part to it and then in one of the comments that i got it was a pretty good comment i'm gonna blow this up so you can see it let me get here and here so this is from climate tech he goes look man i put three thousand dollars in a doge in 2017 and i held it Today, it's worth $747,000. And I hear you calling it a stupid investment. I saw the potential in Doge from its huge fan base, all right, charitable contributions, and its value as a meme coin. That's debatable. Don't be a sore loser and don't be mad when it hits a dollar a coin. So, so I said, hey, you know, congratulations to you. I and mean, that's really good. And uh, people were congratulating him on, on the long hold. And that's pretty amazing. I don't know how many long-term doge holders there are i know there's like a couple of wallets which have a ton of doge but for a climate tech yes 
he just did. He's like, you know what? 3000 bucks. I don't care about it. And just forgot about it. Another example I can, I, I can tell you is, uh, I had a, had a friend, we were sitting down he goes, you know, I can believe this it was like two or three weeks ago. And he says, he was in, uh, he got into cryptocurrency. There was a project that wanted to work with him. And, uh, they said, we can't pay you in dollars, but we'll pay you in the token. He's like, well, I like you guys. So, you know, sure it's worthless, but whatever. And then, uh, fast forward to two weeks ago, cause this was back in 2017 when this happened. Fast forward two weeks ago, uh, he's talking to uh, a friend of ours and he goes, Hey man, have you heard about XYZ coin? And he goes, yeah, it's trash. I just, I've, I've had a bunch of that stuff. He goes, really? He goes, cause it's worth like 50 bucks now. And he's like, what the hell? Took, went back uh, to his house, looked at his hard drive. Tokens were still there. Uh, put it on the exchange, sold a bunch, a couple million dollars. This is what it is. And it just goes to show you that really investing in, in crypto and digital assets, again, this is not financial advice, but if you, like for me, I just, you know, I was losing out and I go, you know what? I know this is gonna be big. I know it's gonna be, it's gonna change the world in some way, shape or form. I'm just gonna keep dollar cost averaging in. And I did from 2017 all the way up to yesterday. I and mean, I'll probably still do some today. Well, it depends. Um, and that's the beauty of investing. Sometimes you can just get into a, a project when it's like super low and there's really not much going on to it and just hold for a long time and everything goes up. In the bull run, you don't have to be a financial genius. You just got to be, you know, strong enough to not sell uh, too early and you usually make, uh, or sometimes, I will say sometimes, you can make, you can do pretty well. So what I want to show you real quick is Dogecoin and how long this guy had to hold when there was absolutely nothing going on. So this is from right now. And you can see like, I think it topped out of 40 cents. Wow. Amazing. That's so the guy bought at the very top. It sucks. But then this is all the way back to 2018, 2017. It was 0.001. So it was a 10th of a penny. And that's when he bought $3,000 and just held on to it. But remember, you got to go 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. You got to hold four years. And that's a long time. That's a long time to hold. And just on a coin where it does absolutely nothing. But you know what? Same thing happened to my other friend who just didn't even think about it, set it and forget it, and off you go. So those are two great examples of what could potentially happen. My Myself, I'm trying to look for good projects that have a, has a good team, has good people behind it, doesn't have a huge market cap, doesn't have a huge supply. I don't, I don't, if, if you have a trillion dollar tokens, I'm, I'm not going to invest into your product. It's just way too many for, I mean, whatever you're trying to do. I don't know what you're trying to do. But if you have something like this, I mean, well, even this one, circulating supply is 129 billion, 348 million, 76, that's a lot. That's a ton of uh, circulating supply. And let's see. And then max supplies and infinity. <laughs> I would never have, been, I still won't invest in this one, but I mean, it worked out pretty well. So there's that part. Now let's take a look at, let's go on the flip side, okay? This is Verge. And Verge back in the day was supposed to be very big. It was actually had, it was actually being used as payments, different websites. And it was pretty good. People were like, this is the, this is the next great thing in 2017. And yeah, I mean, it was, it was like 0. 0.004 cents, right? So if you got in like eight, like in May, which there was, is that volume right? 342 bucks, that's insane. And then just held it, well, look at that. You could have gone up all the way to 26 cents and you would have been, you would have made out like a bandit just for 3,000 bucks. But here's another, the flip side, the same coin of Doge. If you would have bought here or here or here, or here, eh, here, you'd have been in pretty bad shape for the longest time. Now it's coming back up, so maybe you could recover and uh, that's just one of those things, so great. And then we'll take a, let's just do this. Let's take uh, Swiss Borg, for example. Here's another example. Uh, if you go all the way back to the beginning, whatever this is, Swiss Borg, biased, I own some. Uh, you're looking at like two cents in 2018, four cents, right? And just held, 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 and uh, there you are. 88 cents, dollar 42. You would have looked like a genius. Now, let's go back. Let's take a look at. Ah, where was this one? Tribe. Do, do, do. 
tribe number 131 okay so if you take a look at tribe i don't know what this is but uh you could take a look at this go all the way back to the very beginning and once it got released it was at two dollars 24 cents and you're like i'm gonna buy that because that looks pretty good right two bucks and then it goes down and down and down holding a dollar 12 and even this bull run which was a pretty fantastic so far you still wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't have hit it right there so again when you look at these things these projects you can hit uh, a pretty good one and a lot of these projects they will go up in this in this bull market but for me personally what i look for is something with not a lot of tokens i look for a great team great people that i can invest for the long haul now <sighs> Climate over there, he said, you know what? I love the community and I'm gonna stick with them through thick and thin. And that could work for, for you, right? I wouldn't put all my eggs in one basket. I guarantee you that wasn't the only cryptocurrency and digital asset that he actually bought. But those are just my two cents. Uh, personally, uh, look for those things and, and then I just go from there. Anyhow, that's it for today's video. So if you liked the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Uh, consider subscribing. A lot of things we talked about are time sensitive. Also look down in the, uh, there's links in the description of every one of my videos where you can get discounts for everything from trade the chain to t to t-shirts to uh, artwork and everything else in between. Uh, so thanks for sticking with me. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.